Many in Minnesota counted on Khalid El Amin to fill the shoes of Jackson once he left. Not the case. As Ian Page reports, don't necessarily always believe everything you hear. He's not the biggest play you've ever played against. He's not the quickest play you've ever played against. But he, he, there's something about his personality. There's something about his perseverance. There's something about his mental toughness. There's something about his desire and competitiveness that, that kind of separates him from a lot of people that you're going to meet at his age. There are experiences in Khalid El Amin's life which make him seem older than his 18 years. The McDonald's All-American was a two-time Minnesota Player of the Year, leading his team to three consecutive state championships. He also found time to start a family. At 17, I was married at 17. And after only a sophomore year in high school, announced where he intended to play college ball. I have decided that once I finish my career at North High, I will play for Coach Clem Haskins at the University of Minnesota. But as graduation neared, changes occurred. His marriage ended, and so did the honeymoon with the Golden Gophers. I have tremendous respect for Coach uh, Clem Haskins and the Gopher program. Uh, it's a great program, but I felt that Connecticut was a better program for me. I was just ready to try to make some moves. And, you know, uh, Coach Hastings, he persuaded me to, to commit early. But I, as, as time went on, I figured I, I knew that that wasn't the right thing to do. We really weren't sure of our situation here. We thought a kid, Monquincy or Hardin, would develop into a nice point guard. Instead, uh, Monquincy has become a much better second guard. So we decided to make a move. We kind of just hung around until I. I uh, opportunity came to talk to mom and dad and, and to Khalid and he just wanted to know you know what are my opportunities here we showed it to them and showed them what he could do here at UConn and thank God he came. <laughs> I watched Connecticut a lot last year and I, I, I seen what they like they like the floor leader out there that somebody who can come in and run the team and you know tell the players where to go you know and communicate with the coach be on the same level with the coach. You know that's the, the, the good thing about Khalid is that he understands good point guards always have good relationships with the head coach. Certain players actually different. I don't say much to Ricky Moore either. I think each player has to be handled entirely different. If he's got the delicate balance of our team, I want to be able to verbalize with him as I pull him over to talk to him more than necessarily just get on him because he needs to make good things happen for us. Coach Calhoun has given me the confidence to go out there and play my game. That's what I want to do, play my game and make everybody else look good and they can make me look good in return. Mm -hmm. Ever best in personality, carries himself on the court, helps lead us. Um, he's always chattering and so on. And at times in practice, when coaches occasionally are trying to instruct, also that chatter here is a little bit too. We have to kind of curtail that. <laughs> Once again, I think the biggest thing about Khalid, when you talk to him, um, he's a very mature young guy. Then you better really go back a step. You know, he's 18. This is his first time around this whole deal, and he's got to be taught and brought along like every other kid because this is a whole new world for him.